lost them all. They're gone. And they were so beautiful. I sacrificed every... But who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <coughs> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But they were my friends, my teachers. Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. Oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, the flour, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows how many fish are left? Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I need it to protect myself, you know, to survive. Ah. You see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <coughs> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. So, what did you learn from fish? Oh, how much time do you have? Because they've been teaching me for years. <coughs> They taught me how to listen to others. They're great listeners, you see? And they helped me sleep. <laughs> Have you ever seen a sleeping fish? So still, so peaceful. They don't mind being stared at all the time and aren't bothered when rude people knock on the walls of their tank. Why is that? Patience. Oxygen is important. Almost as important as water itself. Have you ever seen what happens when water lacks oxygen? <clears throat> well, I could go on and on, but I guess it's not the same if it's not coming from the fish themselves. And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, <clears throat> My fish are not with us anymore. And they're gone. What happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait, wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. <sighs> One of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing, ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. 
You sound like some kind of fish monk. <clears throat> I'm poor as a monk now. That is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. Check out the stall. 